Sync Productions proudly presents you our main event of the evening. This is WCK Champion of Champions. Tonight's fight is sanctioned and supervised by WCK Muay Thai. Your judges for tonight's bout are Art Aiken, George Basmazian, and John Baker. Dr. Ringside is Dr. Larry Vigilia. This fight is sponsored by China Lion Film. First in the blue corner, wearing silver. And at a weight of 140 pounds, she stands five foot 10. Direct from the UK, she fights at a touch gloves in Cornwall. Her record a season and respected 50 and eight. She's a 14 time world champion and is ranked number one in the world. Here is the queen of Muay Thai, Julie Kitchen. Well, we first saw her a few years back outside of Montego Bay, Jamaica. Julie Kitchen. That night she fought Jermaine De Ranzami and lost that fight, but Blinky, what a great fighter Julie Kitchen has been over the years. Well, she continued to grow as a fighter, Phil. Racked up a series of 50 wins, and now she's here also to demonstrate why they call her the queen. WMC. Julie Kitchen. WBC. 50 victories, 8 losses. 14-time world champion. Julie Kitchen. And she is ready to go here in Pala. Well, she bites out of Touch Gloves Gym in Cornwall, England. And Blinky, every, every now and again, somebody comes onto the scene that really transforms and creates an identity in women's Muay Thai, women's kickboxing. You are married to one. Julie Kitchen is another. Absolutely, Phil. That they pay the same blood, sweat, and tears that any other athlete puts into the game, to the love of their game. They want to come out and represent, and she's done a great job doing it, Phil. Julie Kitchen, been around a while now and never, ever, ever fails to bring a crowd to its feet. And more often than not, has her opponent take a seat. Well, I'll tell you, this crowd here at Pala is in, uh, is in store for a real treat when you get a chance to say, I once saw Julie Kitchen fight. I'll tell you something, though, Phil. She's in with an also an undefeated champion and Marion Nakamoto. And Marion, I've also seen fight. And she's not a blowover by no stretch of the imagination. Finally, Julie Kitchen is in the ring where she belongs. This is the main event, Phil. This is the one that everybody came to see. And in the red corner, wearing white, she weighed into 138 and a half pounds. She stands five foot nine. Hailing out of Combat Sports Academy in Dublin, California, with a perfect record of 14 and 0. Six of those wins coming by way of knockout. She holds both the WBC Muay Thai world title and the WMC world title. World titles at the Queen's Cup in Thailand, as well as Gold medal at the IFMA World Championships. Fight fans, get ready. Here she is, the queen of mean, Miriam Nakamoto. Miriam Nakamoto. The first American to ever win a women's WBC world title. And since that time, it has been nothing but grandeur for this young lady. So likable, so engaging, so dangerous in the ring. Miriam Nakamoto, she trains out of CSA Gym in Dublin, California. 
We remember her blinky when she stepped into the ring in Heiko China and beat Claire Haig. And boy, did she not only beat her, she took her measure convincingly. Miriam and Julie are in the house. Something's gotta give. Al Blinky, who do you like in this one? I'll tell you what, Phil, this one for me is a toss-up. I'm going to get into this fight, this first round, and trying to see who, in fact, wants it the most. Now, Julie Kitchen has come a long way. Miriam Nakamoto fighting in front of a uh, California crowd. There is Julie as Miriam comes behind her as she tours the squared circle. And boy, Blinky, there is a definite buzz here in the uh, showroom at Palo Casino Spa Resort. Well, I'll tell you, Phil, and there rightfully should be. This fight here is going to be a compact fight. I can almost guarantee it. These women came to fight the queen of mean. Nakamoto right there. She has a perfect unblemished record of 14-0. Across the ring stands a 14-time world champion, Julie Kitchen, with a mark of 50 and 8. Boy, I have been looking forward to this one for the last couple of weeks. Fight fans, this fight is scheduled for five three-minute rounds, and now I give you the third man in the ring in charge of the action, Jose Cobian. So the referee will summon Nakamoto and uh, Kitchen to the center, and let's listen. Well, you can throw all the bragging out, you can throw all the records out, you can throw all the, the gesturing and the posturing. Game on. It's on. It's show and tell time. Either you got the goods or you don't. And what I'd like feel about Miriam Nakamoto is that she'll start walking you down and she'll stay. You might throw a punch or a, you might throw a kick, but she's right there in distance to either punch or kick. She's got a great right hand. She's accurate with it, and she'll stay right inside with you. You know, 14 fights, Phil. Look at her composure. She had an extensive a career in the amateurs. She grew up in the gym since she was a little girl. And you can just see her her air, her confidence. Very disciplined, very composed. You know, when she's in there with a Julie Kitchen with a record of 50 wins and eight losses, there's something to say about that. Both fighters exchanging left legs. Kitchen throws a left round kick. Nakamoto throws a straight right hand to the head. Nakamoto trying to hold on and to lift those big long legs into the midsection of Kitchen. Both big women, Phil. Yes, they are. Don't get nothing, there. Uh, nothing slight or light or fragile about these two. Again, the back front ball kick attempted by Julie. Julie with the ankle supporters on. 
Again, just notice the defense of Nakamoto, Phil. She's just barely out of range for Kitchen. Kitchen's throwing the right hand just shy. Nakamoto jumps in, hits her with an inside late, uh, late kick to the inside of the thigh of Kitchen. There she comes back with a left hand to the head. Attempted right elbow by Julie Kitchen there. Very experienced move. Final seconds of this opening round. And a good straight right hand by a Kitchen. Right at the bell, Phil. She just, just caught it a little long, but it was never le the less a very, very good scoring right hand. Into the corner of Julie Kitchen. Why tonight, both of these world champions fighting for a champion of champions belt. And there you see a nice right hand thrown by Nakamoto, and that's what I was talking about early in the round. Right hand, she comes right back with the left hand behind it, Phil. Very economical. Doesn't, doesn't you know, exuberate too much energy. There's a nice jab again by Nakamoto. And there's the right hand right at the end of the round when the bell rang. Mike Kitchen. Here we go. Action in round two. Well, that was a great straight right hand by Kitchen uh, just as the bell sounded. But it didn't have the real pop, Phil, because she caught right. away on the end of it. You see, you notice Nakamoto, Phil, she's not way out of range. That's what I like about her. Kitchen will fire, and she'll be right back to counter on top of her or to, or, or to exchange with her without having to walk too far to get her. Blinky, when you're in a fight against an opponent of this magnitude, and I'm talking about each fighter, are you are you thinking about it from time to time, or are you just trying to get busy? Look, I mean, when you're a fighter, look, you get ready, you get in shape, and you're going to come and give your best. And if what you do is good enough that night, you're going to win. You can't be get caught up in all the sizzle, all the hype, all the records like you alluded to earlier. It's show and tell time. And both of these ladies are out there rapid fire, back and forth. One's going from offense to defense and right back to defense and offense. By Miriam all over Kitchen. It was a right elbow that she jumped and came down with there. Nakamoto holding Kitchen in the corner. No punches. Turn around, turn around. Break! See? Kitchen throws a jab right hand with no intent to land with it, but then comes back with a left round kick to the body, and that's a technique that you'll see her set up often. And yes, she's walking forward. Kitchen with the ball kick. Moves in again. This time Nakamoto was waiting for her. And Nakamoto also very savvy, Phil on the inside with the knees and going into the clinches. Both fighters really beginning to rub each other in the face with the glove, and I'm surprised the referee hasn't said anything with that tape that's on the gloves. Good right hand to the body by Nakamoto. Stiff jab there stops, stops Kitchen right in her track as she's coming forward. Kitchen very linear, Phil, in her attack and her retreat. It's in a line, and that's why Nakamoto's been able to follow her right back. When Kitchen throws her punches also, Phil, you don't see her turning the shoulders as much. She's kind of standing up straight, and she loses leverage in her punching power from that. And that's the end of round two. And I'm wondering if, if Julie Kitchen is a little surprised really at, at, at the actual calm and, 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 and the technique of Nakamoto, Phil. Remember, he's coming in with a 14-0 and record. You know what I mean? Opposed to the many fights that Julie Kitchen has had. And here we see Nakamoto on her way walking in again. There's kind of a pawing right hand that gets thrown over the top, catches her on the year. 
And then we see Kitchen trying to come back in. Nakamoto returning fire. Inside leg kick by Nakamoto as Kitchen comes in with a right leg. And both fighters really trying to trying to beat each other up when they get inside even on the clinch. There they exchange the kick, kick for a punch. There's the inside leg kick of Nakamoto again. Then she comes back with the right hand. Well, it has certainly been an entertaining fight thus far. Uh, one that we expected and hoped to see here tonight, and it has not disappointed through two. Long front kick, trying to be land there by Julie Kitchen. You know, you notice the jab of Kitchen, Phil. She kind of paws it out there. She's got long arms, and I'd like to see her really step in behind that jab a little more. And you hear Julie Kitchen's corner asking for her to throw the right hand. Both ladies uh, exchanging powerful leg. There's a right hand by Nakamoto. Nice leg check by Nakamoto. As Julie went to the attack, she was able to block that off. Both fighters starting to attack the legs more this round, yes, Phil. Yes, they are. Those take a lot out of you. Kitchen and Nakamoto both seem to be uh, becoming more and more confident that uh, neither can hurt one another, and they're beginning to turn up the heat a little bit. That may be full security. Stop. Get back. Turn around, turn around, turn around. You hear referee Jose Kubion telling Nakamoto, turn around, walking away with her back to her isn't a good idea. That's Nakamoto that had her back to Kitchen. There Nakamoto throws her right hand, comes back with a left roundhouse kick, and Kitchen really using her leg just to keep Nakamoto off of her, Phil. That's right. Nakamoto trying to get that inside uh, thigh kick going on, and uh, Kitchen's doing a good job of slipping it. Right, and then even on the inside, you see both fighters trying to throw little elusive elbows. Not a lot of torque in them, but they're just shoving them in there. And now it looks like there's a cut there right over the left eye of Nakamoto. Miriam Nakamoto, this fight for... This fight is called the Champion of Champions, and this is for one of those specialty belts from the WCK. Both fighters really vying for it and looking forward to taking that home with them. Now, Miriam trying to plead her case. Hey, it's not that bad. I'm fine. Television. She says, I'm fine. I'm fine. And it's almost up at the hairline, Phil. That's yeah. where the cut is. That doesn't appear to be bothering her whatsoever. It's not trickling into the eye. And that's one tough woman right there because she was just like, hey, look, I'm fine. Let me get back into this thing. I got some business to take care of. And you watch and see if Miriam begins to turn the heat up a little bit more to try and get rid of Julie and, Kitchen here in this round. And you're right on point, Phil. You see her double up on that left hand right now. And Kitchen again using the left leg defensively, trying to keep Nakamoto off her and keeping her on the outside. But that there was an attempted knee to the face there thrown by Kitchen. Kitchen on the move, and that's it. Round three is drawn to a close. And Julie Kitchen with a big round. Well, we'll be back with round four. 
Julie Kitchen emboldened by opening a cut in the hairline of Miriam Nakamoto in that third round. And uh, Clinky, there doesn't appear to be any panic whatsoever in the corner of Miriam right there as they apply pressure to stop the bleeding. And we'll see where the cut came, I'm sure, on the highlight of uh, round three. Well, I'll tell you, there's no concern because she has capable cornermen that know what they're doing. There we see right hands exchange. Nakamoto landing a little bitter impact on hers. Another right hand by kitchen and then Nakamoto throws the kick and there there that elbow there that vertical elbow is what caught Nakamoto and then Nakamoto she probably knew it right off the bat and then she starts going back after Julie and right before the doctor's gonna pull her there we see a good stiff left hand she comes back with another jab right on the nose of Julie and kitchen and here we go action in round four this fight is close but I would give Nakamoto just an edge, Phil. She's been able to back kitchen up most of the night and be the aggressor. And I think in the judge's eyes, there's a little bit of extra points for being the aggressor. And roundhouse, both fighters exchange kicks right there. Nakamoto throws a right leg that misses. Kitchen comes back to Connor with a right leg of her own. Blood again beginning to spill down the forehead of Nakamoto. But again, it is not an issue. It is not dripping into her eyes. Good inside kick. Kitchen Connors with the right hand. But you see Kitchen trying to land that vertical elbow again, that time with her left elbow. She didn't let it go, but she wanted to. Again, the blood always looks dramatic. Left hand. Nakamoto on the uh, on the offensive here in round four. Just landed a great little left body shot with the left hand. There Nakamoto trying to deliver an elbow. L.A. Clinch right above us here and Cubby and will break him. And there you see the glove, Phil, and that's where when you see that glove and that, that, that tape that's rubbing up against a cut, that's where there's got to be some control taken. It's almost like getting laced. Both fighters exchange right hands there, Phil. Nakamoto finishing off with a stiff jab. Kitchen coming back with that front kick from the back leg. Uh, both fighters doing a great job of delivering powerful leg thrusts here in this fourth round. Now Nakamoto with an elbow to the head of uh, Kitchen. And she threw the left and came back and spun with the back elbow. It wasn't even a spin. She just threw it in the backwards and landed in flush. Comes back to the thigh of Kitchen there. Great sequence there of, of elbows, Phil. And Nakamoto throws her, Kobe, and says, we'll have none of that. Go throw. Let's go. We are watching the uh, the face of Nakamoto, and again, uh, the blood does not appear to be a problem for her. And Julie Kitchen really with an intent look on her face, like she's got to make something happen, Phil. And that's the end of round four. Now, Blinky, we said at the outset of this fight, we, we hoped it would be as we thought it might be, and it has not disappointed. I'll, I'll tell you what, both of these women are out there giving it their all, landing great shots to the legs, to the head, elbows being used. But I'll tell you what, this fifth, I'm glad I'm not a judge of this one, Phil. It's a tight fight. I'm giving the little edge to Nakamoto, and there you see her come, trying to come down with, with the vertical elbow. And, uh, and then ended up hitting with the glove because she couldn't get the height on her jump. But there's a nice stiff jab, doubled up actually, then a right hand by Nakamoto. There's another stiff jab by Nakamoto. Kitchen landed one right hand to four punches that she took there. And there comes the right elbow and spins with that left elbow right on the temple of, of Julie Kitchen. That's one touch woman, boy. She ate the whole thing. Let's hear it for these fighters. Here we go. Fifth and final round.
Right away, both fighters go to the to the thigh kick. Miriam trying to lead with that left elbow and can't get it to land. Instead, throws the left leg and it hits the uh, the rib cage of uh, Julie Kitchen. There's an elbow as she spins it right into the face of Kitchen and then backs up and almost caught her with another one. This has been an elbow fest tonight, Phil. Boy, has it ever. Back leg sweeped into the inside by Nakamoto. Nakamoto a little bit is busier actually in this round. Miriam has not given an inch. There again, Kitchen throwing that back uh, front kick, but just really something for keeping Nakamoto back. Now Kitchen deciding to come on the attack. She needs to finish strong this round, Phil. Step back, step back, step back. Nakamoto tries to power her into the corner there and can't deliver anything. Referee separates him. Kitchen coming with the right hand. Nakamoto coming back with the right elbow. Then a jumping vertical elbow by Nakamoto. Stop, stop, stop. Nakamoto delivers an elbow in the clinch there. Step back, step back. Tell you what, both of them leaving nothing, nothing. They're leaving with nothing after this fight. Good right hand. Again, now we see Kitchen really opening up, trying to come back and make, make this round hers. Again, both fighters exchanging punches right there. Phil, right next to us. Boy, what a fight this has been. Nakamoto chopping right elbow. Final 10 seconds of this fight. Miriam steps back, can't unload. There's the jumping elbow onto the top of the head of Kitchen as she throws it to the canvas. Let's hear it for these men. And it's over, it's over here at Palo. Yeah, so oftentimes, Blinky, you tell a player, don't leave anything in the locker room. Don't leave anything on the sideline. Neither of these fighters left anything anywhere other than in the center of this ring. Well, not tonight, Phil. We've seen it right here, right before our eyes. These two young ladies were delivering everything they had, and this crowd was electrified. Well, now, Miriam, an unblemished 14-0 mark will await the judge's decision. Likewise, Julie Kitchen. Boy, what a fight this was. You know, Blinky, you think back over the last 20, 25 years, we've been sitting alongside one another calling these fights. This is up there with the best of all of them. Now, I'll tell you what it is. It's been electrifying here in this room. You add blood to the, to the uh, menu, and, and it just <laughs> makes for great fights. And here you see that right elbow there. And I'll tell you what, Julie Kitchen has been in this building a long time, and that's because she's one tough woman. She ate that elbow and didn't even flinch. There you see her bouncing her right hand off the temple. Marion came back with a punch of her own, and both fighters exchanged kicks in the center of the ring. Their left uppercut right hand that just missed. Jab right hand, those really spoke loud, Phil, to the judges. They were clean punches. They were sharp punches with great leverage. And there you see now the, you know, Ju Julie Kitchen trying to land an elbow. Again, hoping to, and, and here, the jump elbow by Merriam. Now both fighters in the center of the ring, neither saying much to one another. There's the champion of champions belt. That's gonna go around the waist of one of these young women. Wow, what a fight this has been.
And Blinky, I have a good feeling this is going to come down to a very close decision. Ladies let's and listen. Gentlemen, after five awesome rounds of action, let's hear it for these fighters. Ladies and gentlemen, and before I announce this decision, I want to introduce to you Benny the Jet Rikidis presenting this belt. And now we go to the cards. Judge one scores the bout 48-47. Judge two sees it 48-47. And judge three has it 49-46. All in favor for the winner by unanimous decision. And now the WCK champion of champions, women's super lightweight world champion in the red corner, Miriam Nakamoto! Nakamoto! And the jet and there to give the belt, Phil. For the challenger, all the way from the UK, Julie Kitchen! Benny the Jet, a true legend. Wrapping that belt around her waist. Miriam Nakamoto, champion of the world. Mickey and I will be right back to wrap up.